better. I got it. Oh, there you go. I can hear you now. <laughs> For some reason, second, I was like, I, is he saying anything or is he being really <laughs> quiet? I can't tell. <laughs> Dude, how's it going? It's going good. Did you guys just have like a massive, busy. um, a massive storm just come through and like knock out power and stuff? Um, not well. Yeah, no power. Uh, well, no power issues. We did have a huge branch fall off the tree out front. So, oh dang, that was fine. Hopefully, it didn't mess up that either. that shiny new truck of yours. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I've been at the gym all day, so Nikki called me. I didn't even know there's a storm going on. And Nikki called me and she's like, Are you coming home soon? I was like, Oh shit, what's happening now? <laughs> Something's wrong. And oh uh, yeah, I kind of looked outside and I was like, Oh man, it looks like a bad storm coming in, maybe a tornado. So yeah, I came home. There's a huge branch, like literally taking up the whole our front yard, which isn't a big yard, but as a good good chunk came off the tree. Dang. Didn't damage the house or cars or anything like that? No, nah, it was um right in but it was a tree that was between our neighbor and ours and um yeah, it was a good distance away from both of our houses, but it was good. Plopped right in the middle of our front yard. Yeah, it storm came in so fast and out of nowhere. I had no idea it was going to be so intense. Like there was, there was some pretty strong winds that were just blowing um, all sorts of debris and everything. Like my office, I have a window right here in front that looks out into the front yard, and there was all sorts of construction, like wood and stuff, just blowing by. It was pretty, pretty powerful. Yeah. Um... Well, I was getting ready to leave. I hadn't even, like I said, I hadn't looked outside and we walked outside and it dropped about 20 degrees or so from what it felt like this morning. Dang. This morning I walked outside and I was like, oh, that's nasty, sticky, hot. Yeah. Coming it home. And, super humid. Yeah. It was nice and cool coming home. Nice. But so yeah. what's, uh, what's the updates of the, uh, at the gym? I've heard there's been some work going on over there and, uh, You've been slaving away many hours a day, making our gym better. What you been working on? Yeah, right now he's gotten, well, uh, right now it's mainly aesthetics. Hoping to be more eye-pleasing when people come back, but it looks really good. I'm proud to, or I'm uh, happy with the turnout of the colors of the gym and um, some of the stuff that Kyle and I have been working on. Kyle's been helping me uh, almost every day up there, but. I think we've been going since like uh, it's like the Sunday. Yeah, is that following Sunday? Right after the Friday, we handed everything out. We started painting. Um, been painting everything, um, even stuff that hasn't been touched before. So we having to wipe down some oh, dang. build up on the some of the I beams, cleaning some of that. Um, started staining some of the wood like on the wall today. So we're taking that off and uh, taking it outside to stain it. That's the other thing. We ran had a stain halfway through one of the planks and we left it out there and we're taking a little break. And that's when Nikki called me and I was like, oh shit, I need to get that inside. <laughs> but I think, I think it had dried enough from how long we had waited, but. We'll see. I might have to sand it down and stain it again. That's good. You guys aren't like moving around stuff within the like the actual like setup of the gym is staying the same, or are you guys moving some stuff around there too? Um, for the most part, it's staying the same. Um, I mean, you know, I every day I'm in there, I think of something else I want to do or add or switch sure. up or change. So, I mean. I don't know if this quarantine goes much longer, probably, probably going to have a whole different gym walking into. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all come back after this and be like, is this the same? Am I in the right building? Right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it looks really nice with just the color and 
the changes from there. Like it's a lot uh, more open with some of the lighter colors that we put in there. And we're kind of getting rid of the older colors like the neon green. So it's not just, it doesn't feel as random. I guess it's a little bit more color organized and there's a little bit more order to it. A little bit more like blue or what do you mean? Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's basically like, it's kind of a, there's either, it's not white. It's kind of like a really light, well, like a light gray or kind of like an off white. white. Yeah. And then charcoal and then uh, a bright blue that we found. So, and they, they look really well. Nice. Uh, All those colors kind of blend together pretty, pretty well. Yeah. So it looks good. Um, there was kind of, like I said, we got to standing the wood today and that even looks way better. Kind of getting rid of the scuff marks and some of the, we've kind of, stripped down some of the paint on the wall that was already peeling and getting nasty. So we peeled that off, sanded it down, painted over it, done some the same with the wood that had chips in it or had uh, scuffs from the bumper plates or other stuff or just humidity built up on it or whatever. Yeah. So I was just trying to clean it up and make everything look new and shiny. My dad is even in there uh, last couple days cleaning uh well cleaning the plates that we have left the basically the rogue plates is taking a power drill with a brush on the end of it and cleaning those all down so they look they look brand new nice, and then we dude. got some other cleaning equipment and um other equipment for the barbells so that probably the weekend after we get everybody back in and swing of things go back in there and knock those out real quick and that'll be like for now though kind of, that's kind of like the end deal of it all i can't wait to see it it's gonna look so amazing i mean even if you guys didn't do anything i would just be so excited to get back in the gym i right i miss it so much like i i'm doing like these home workouts as is everybody else and you know just doing that on your own is okay for a while, but after a while you, you definitely get tired of it and you don't really realize how much you miss it until it's gone. Yeah. That social atmosphere is huge, especially for energy. And yeah, I've been doing, I've been doing bodybuilding with bands and then uh, body weight conditioning nearly every day. And I almost got to find a, like a new song or something, something that kind of <laughs> is like, all right, this is good. I can kind of zone out, listen to this and keep moving. Yep. And then I kind of get to that point where it's like, that's enough for today. Right. I'm right. Good. I wish there was some sort of, some sort of app. There might be some sort of app out there um, that could somehow sync up uh, like a video conferencing. Um, also music and a timer all at the same time. So you essentially have everything that you normally would have during a workout, uh, right. minus obviously somebody sweating right next to you. They're sweating with you virtually, I guess. But to have all of those things in once, that would be pretty cool. There might be something out there like that. I don't know. I have no idea. But If there's not, I'm sure there's one in development right now. Yeah. It hasn't I mean, come there's, out already. There's, I've seen um, a couple of people from – uh, the gym that Christina and I used to go to in San Diego have been doing Zoom workouts, which is okay, but you still don't have that sort of structure where you can coordinate and sync all of these moving parts together. It's just kind of like somebody doing a workout on a screen and you can see them, but then you're not really in sync with everything else. It's kind of a little bit disorganized. Yeah, and I've seen that and I've thought about ways to implement that. Cause right now that's kind of our biggest thing is how do we keep everybody engaged? How do we keep everybody moving forward? Um, how do we, I mean, and it's a lot of that is that just that social environment of people love to come and talk to their friends before and after and catch up and what's going on in the world, get different viewpoints, different perspectives, learn a little bit more about people. And I mean, there's just such a strong, glue there for 
especially our business with the gym that it makes it really difficult when you're trying to do things through a screen or um, just by yourself. And it's just not the same being in the same room as somebody as being across for, or being in a screen or whatever. So I've kind of thought about maybe doing um, just some social meetups, not even doing workouts. Cause I mean, I think it's best right now if you just, kind of find your zone and get into it. The easiest thing I've done is as soon as I get up, I'll just go work out, get it done. And that's it for the day. And I won't have it hanging over my head or thinking about it or thinking about what I need to do. Yeah. So I got the program written out ahead of time and knock it out and done. I'm happy to see a lot of my 5 AMers doing that too. Even uh, some of the 615 guys are still waking up that early. Um, now I've, a little bit. <laughs> I've seen that too i mean i think it's awesome i think the i think that definitely speaks volumes to um those people's commitment but also i think it also is a good testament to especially during this time to structure um yeah. structure is like one of the most difficult things to maintain right now and with all of this extra time that we're um extra time or not extra time, depending on your situation that we're dealing with, you could potentially have some really massive disruption in your structure. And I think right. human beings, we, we crave it. We want it. Um, everybody at the gym for the most part goes into um, either hit, you know, a morning class or an afternoon class. Um, so there's already some structure there and people don't have that anymore. And I think being able to find some sort of way to implement that back into this new normal um, is really important. And I think that's, you make a really good point. You get up in the morning, you knock out your workout. It's not hanging over your head anymore. And I think that definitely motivates you to do other things too. Yeah. I mean, even uh, Nikki's still working pretty, I mean, she's a pretty structured person to begin with, but yeah. She's got, you can't see it cause it's behind the computer, but she's got her, both her computer screens. It looks like almost like a Pentagon setup. It's hilarious. <laughs> or like a intense gamer setup, <laughs> but she's got like three computer screens here. She's got her headset keyboard and everything. She's on here having meetings a couple times a day, doing all of her work emails and all that. And then, um, outside of work just for us she's created a uh, she's got a menu for the whole week of what we're having for dinner and lunch breakfast is pretty much always the same thing for us eggs and sweet potatoes or eggs and uh toast or gluten-free waffles or something so um we've kind of been getting better with the structure i think for me personally like going to the gym and um, getting stuff done over there has been keeping my mind at ease and not giving me too much to worry about. Cause it's, like I said, I get up, I work out, we have breakfast and coffee and hang out for a little bit. And then I go to the gym and I'm there for 10 to four, um, doing pain or cleanup or trying to, you know, figure out if I'm going to flip the whole thing upside down and do it different <laughs> or whatever. But Right. Um, it's definitely been helpful to have that structure or that outline day to day to then try to stick to it. And then our weekends are kind of the same as our normal weekends. We hang out and enjoy each other's company. We try to get kilo and go on a long walk or go explore right. some of those areas over in Treviso or Crystal Falls at her parents' house. So it's been cool. Had him yeah. over at the um high school the other day and we just decided to kind of go off course and go wander around a little bit nice yeah it's 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 definitely nice to be able to get out even though we're not able to socially coordinate things with other people just to get out and just go walk or hike or run or bike whatever you can do just yeah. to kind of experience the outdoors a little bit i think people kind of lose sight of that a little too. And there's a new appreciation for the outdoors. It's crazy how many people that are just in our neighborhood that you didn't even 
see ever before, you know, whole families walking by kids, bikes, strollers, all this, like people are out, you know, people are out and moving around and enjoying what is around them and breathing in their, their surroundings. And it's really cool to see. And I don't think anything, anything else could have prompted that on such a high level. I mean, that's, I guess that's one of the potential positive things that has come out of this. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I mean, I've seen, uh, especially in the mornings when I'm driving over to the gym, see a lot of people outside and it's kind of funny. It's kind of not, but I'll see people cross the street to avoid each other. And it's kind of like, if this whole thing wasn't going on, it'd be weird, but I understand <laughs> that the extra precaution, the, people are taken for wanting to keep that distance from each other. Sure. And it's just like, we went into Costco. Um, was it yesterday? Yeah. I we went in there yesterday and it, um, got there at a good time. How you know, got, we're at the front line, of the door and it's just strange. Like I don't, I'm not, I guess paying attention to it that much or I haven't been because I've kind of kept my head down and just been back and forth between here and the gym. And it's like, you see people walking around with gloves and masks and it's kind of an eerie feeling. And then you're walking around and I started getting a little panicked about, no, you can't touch it. And Nikki can't touch anything. Like, just tell me what you want and I'll get it. Right. And I'm pure hold my hands after everything I touch. And so it's just, it's kind of a, weird feeling i know you and christina are doing the same thing or it's yep. kind of like for first pregnancy it's it's a weird time yeah um, it definitely is very strange how to like go about everything that is already going on with having a pregnant wife and then on top of that there's extra parano paranoia and extra you know media that's being shed on all sorts of issues that are happening right now, whether it's with a virus or not and uh, latency and all these crazy things that are involved with like, where is this actually going and what's, what's the trajectory here and what are the side effects and what are the long-term impacts? So it's a weird time for that, for sure. And I, that's, I think probably the best thing for both of us is getting out of the house and going on a walk or kind of find something to go explore or experience together um just the two of us has been good and well kilo too but yeah just the two of us <laughs> get out I know of the kilo house appreciates and, it that's for sure i know Oso does too whenever we get out he's always super happy <laughs> oh yeah oh, it um, sucks because it's been raining so much so I, I was looking forward to yeah. getting on my bike and going out here a few mornings and i was doing it last week and then this storm's kind of been on and off and I kind of haven't really made plans to ride lately yeah it's been it's been raining like crazy it's it's kind of been all over the place I think we're supposed to have a little bit of a break tomorrow but um I just wanted to circle back real quick on yeah. the topic that you brought up earlier um with having <clears throat> some sort of scheduling and some sort of structuring of your day and your week um I feel like that's something that could definitely help people I know it's helped me a lot and I know you're really, really good at it, especially with um, everything that you do, working out in the morning, programming, thinking about what the week is going to look like, what next week is going to look like. And obviously with all of the programming that you're continuing to do for the people remotely and um, everybody that's all over the place, I know you do programming for people all over the globe, but um, what is, what does that kind of look like for you now? And how has that structure of breaking down your day piece by piece been helpful? What, what kind of things would you recommend for people, especially now? Um, for me, I think it, I, I mean, it always, not to sound conceited, but it kind of comes natural sound just because um, like working out has always been a big part of my life. Yeah. And it's kind of been like, I, it has to be done like high priority of course married child on the way business like it's kind of taking a back seat to a few other things now um sure but it it did help set a so, so, ugh, solid foundation for 
all those things because like you can't have any progress in a training program or unless you plan like there's nothing that's going to happen unless you plan it out and say okay here's what i want to be in a month six months a year whatever Mm -hmm. so you know there's contingencies to those and that's what we've had to do with what's going on so you adapt i mean if this isn't a test for people who love crossfit and love the constant change and all the different variations like yeah is there i mean constantly varied you gotta continue to adapt um and it's not like the world well it's been changed but i don't think it's permanent things are gonna get back to how they were there's probably gonna be some changes uh moving forward from here and there's probably people gonna be taking a little bit more uh focus on their hygiene or at least washing their hands and yeah. focusing on health, maybe even fitness being a, another part of that. Um, but it's, it's a little bit of a balancing act. Like you want to plan it out enough to where you do have that structure. So like I said, we have the menus. I kind of have the plan set for my timeline day to day, or at least Monday through Friday. And programming's all set in stone um we make small well we make small adjustments here and there for things that we may need to adapt or change or modify for people that don't have all the necessary equipment but we wanted to provide and we're we have five different programs out right now so it's not to say that you can't do one of those if not maybe multiple of them if maybe one wasn't enough or maybe you just got some extra time and you want to get another workout in but also you can't plan out so far be so stuck to that plan that you get complacent and then you're just going through the motion right i think it's kind of great especially for us to reassess kind of weekly and see okay have we made the progress we want to make nope all right let's change some things up have we made the progress we want to make yes great let's keep moving forward so it's kind of that balancing between complacency and just chaos that you want to have order but you don't want to have too much order at least you want to go back and reassess what the plan was to make sure that you are in the projection that you have focused or set out to complete right that's a really good point i like how i never thought about it that way i like how you brought up um CrossFit essentially is a programming methodology that is to prepare you for the unknown and the unknowable. And right now we're definitely in the unknown and unknowable. That's for sure. This is something that nobody in the history of our human era has experienced thus far, or at least on this magnitude. And to have the limited resources that we have now, um, it's, it's unknown territory. So you make do with what you've got and continue on in the best way that you can. I like that. It's really good. Um, the different, the different, uh, programs that we've, that you've set out. Um, do you think like continuing on with those, um, is kind of something that you see in the future? Do you see like people, uh, varying up their options or varying up their workouts with other programming or other alternative methods. So say like, you know, you've got the people that are on the rowers, you've got the people that are on the barbell. Um, obviously if you do barbell every single day, you're going to get pretty good at barbell work, but if you row every day, sure, you're going to have some crazy cardiorespiratory, um, increases, but is there any recommendations you would have for especially the people within streamline right now that are on those programs and how to change it up a little bit? Well, I mean, I think for the period we're in, you know, maybe two months of you're just kind of in a very narrow structured program. 
That's all right. I mean, I would just highlight and use that to really focus and also it helps narrow your goals. So you're not like kind of just reaching in all different directions, but you have a yeah. clear path. I'm going to get good at rowing. Um, so the program Kyle sent me for the rower to put in tribe was based around improving your 5k that comes with not only just performance, but cardiovascular health, um, increased blood flow and oxygen and just in general recovery so that when you get back into weight training, you're probably going to have a better recovery and overall get stronger. Um, yeah. But I do think a lot of these, um, for the most part, are more about maintaining and staying engaged. Um, but it's not to say you can't improve. And that's why I said, like, this is great time to really narrow your focus pick one goal instead of having 10 different goals yeah, and go chase that goal. And that's really where you're going to succeed. Um, I think the body weight is something that will continue and probably um, I'm going to work to improve it because it was following the Dan plan and it was, it was a great program. Um, I wasn't too fond that it stopped at 16 days and then you just repeat it the two weeks over it's not bad but um that's something else you people have trouble with is that's again why crossfit's so popular is you kind of have that balance of progress and entertainment like if you i could pull anyone that's in a good way to have them do something and they'll get better but if they're not enjoying it if they don't have this like excitement ready to go and get there for that day then it, they lose the entertainment value and it's just become work it's no right. longer fun and right for an, for a professional athlete an elite athlete yeah yeah sometimes you're just going to be disciplined enough and you're good, like it is your job it's work but for the rest of us the 99 percent who are just want to be healthy and fit and even look good as or best we can or whatever that progress may look like. We need to do something that is fun, exciting, and also helps create those progressions and pushes us in the right direction. So I think there's kind of a fine line to walk in there and the body weight is great because anyone can do it and you can do it anywhere. You just need yourself and you need to move. Obviously, there will be some modifications you'd have to have out there with some people. Joint issues, knee issues, shoulder issues, whatever. Mm -hmm. But there is always opportunity in doing bare minimal versus having a million dollar facility to go to. It's, it's just like uh, I've seen the memes popping up all over the place with uh, Rocky versus the Russian and Rocky four. Oh like yeah. <laughs> Rocky trained out in the snow, lifting logs and plowing fields. And you know, the Russian was getting injected with steroids and had like all these scientists around him and who came out on top. I'm, mean, it's just kind of your will to get better. Like how valuable is it? That's what's going to matter the most is what is the value of this to you? Right. Yeah. I think that, the discipline there definitely comes into play and being able to narrow down goals for sure is something, I mean, it's difficult for me. I struggle with it definitely because there's, I mean, we're so scattered right. all the time and we see something, you know, that somebody else is doing or we see something on social media and we're like, man, I really want to get good at that. I really want to become better at that. And yeah. then all of a sudden you go down a rabbit trail and you focus on something that maybe you nece not necessarily should be focusing as much time and energy on, but because you saw somebody else doing it, it's become your thing now. Right. And yeah, you get caught up in the highlight reels and you're like, oh, that's cool. And the reality, most of that stuff, is, they're, like, they're antics, they're party tricks. They serve little value. And unfortunately, it takes the person accomplishing that movement or that task or whatever. And then they realized, Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Yeah. But it's, 
I mean, you need that. You need something to kind of ignite a little fire, but then you need, you know, structure the gym programming coaches to kind of be those little bumpers like a bowling alley that keep you from going off the rails and keep you kind of moving forward down this path of actually achieving something. And if it's just, you know, you lose some body fat and you are a little healthier. Great. But at least it's something you're not just in a hamster wheel spinning around going nowhere. Yeah. That's, that's kind of the worst case I think because it's now you've wasted time you've wasted energy you've wasted money you've kind of just been going nowhere and may spin wheel hard but if you're not progressing anywhere then it kind of sucks and I think that's what people are feeling right now because they don't have the gym and the environment and the people around them but it comes down to that discipline that value of I can do this, get some motivation going. I kind of, I love the Instagram tags people have been doing and on social media. Um, I was about to ask you about that. Yeah. People, I, so there's a lot of people that are negative about it or like, Oh, it's stupid, blah, blah, blah. I think it's great. Do 10 pushups. There's 10 pushups you weren't going to do. Do a handstand, do something, do something challenging, like be engaged with other people. If it's just through a screen and challenging each other, like there's no better way to find your youth than what we did at the park. We're like, Oh, I bet you can't do blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'll show you. And great. Now you're having fun. You're staying engaged. You're moving. It's not, you know, there's a ton of people that have lost their jobs or temporarily laid off and they're not, they can't do anything right now. And it's not like you can go get a job right now anywhere else because we're there's nobody hiring. So it's, they do their yard work or maybe chores around the house. Great. What are you going to do for the rest of the three weeks left over? So right. it's, <laughs> it's people moving. It's, it's exciting. It's, people have their garage gyms too and they kind of step it up a notch from there and it, great check in with each other push each other challenge each other I, I love it i do too i think it's i think it's important and i think the especially the streamline community i've seen it more than anywhere else people just checking in on each other doing a workout doing a crazy challenge i know you cha- uh, challenged me to one the other day that i fell flat on my ass trying to do about four or five times before I realized Austin's way better at me than this. Um, <laughs> I, loved your res- I loved your response there. That was hilarious. Great. <laughs> I just went for the uh, comedic response right off the bat because I couldn't do it. Um, <laughs> that was great. Those- but that gets people engaged on a whole nother level too, because now it's fun. Now it's more than just a physical challenge. Now it's okay. Let's make this goofy too. And exactly. Great. And I think, bring some happiness into it. Yeah, for sure. You, you might as well, right? I think there's a lot of people that are doing that really, really well. I think it's, I agree with you. I think it's good. I think it's healthy. I think um, the back and forth, the banter is really, really good when something gets reposted 25 times and you see, you know, each different person's aspect of how they do it, um, how they do it better, how they do it worse, how they can't do it at all in my case. Um, and I think it's it's really cool. It brings that that form of community back. That's uh, it's a little bit of um, competition, but then it's also a little bit of socialization at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And then we, and it's like um, it's kind of like a ripple effect. It you get one person involved, and I get another, or you get ten people. Uh, you can tag like up to 10 people or something in the stories or Instagram or whatever. But then that's like 10 more and then 10 more and then 10 more. And you create this connection between 10 push-ups. Great. That's a connection that you probably wouldn't have been there because you probably would have been watching Netflix or you end up getting stuck. Like you said, in that wormhole or rabbit hole, and you get going down YouTube videos or what's on the feed or whoever else. But Oh yeah. At least you're doing something that's engaging and back and forth. It's not just 
lost. And Definitely. then you look up and it's three hours later and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> Where have I been for the past several hours? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's great. I hope, uh, I hope people keep it up. I know, I know certain people definitely will. There's a lot of people that send out those things and I get challenged and I'm like, all right, time to, time to ante up, time to, uh, bust out some pushups or handstand pushups or whatever it may be. Yeah. And it does. I mean, it, whatever you're doing, it kind of stays in the back of your mind. If you don't do it right then it stays in the back of your mind. And you're like, all right, I got to knock this out later. And you're like, I'm going to match them or I'm going to ante up and maybe one up them. So it's, it's like a, it's like the poker table just going around. <laughs> exactly. It's the equivalent of uh, Hey, hold my beer, watch this. And then right. somebody else does it. <laughs> right. I love it. I hope it continues. I know, I'm pretty sure it will. There's a, there's a definitely a, a lot of really cool challenges out there. There's some weird ones too. I've seen, yeah, I've seen some and I'm like, I'm not going to attempt that. It looks like if I don't break my leg, somebody else will. <laughs> right. I'm definitely not going <laughs> to tag anyone else in it. Right. We'll stop, uh, we'll stop the potential trip to the hospital right there and uh, yeah. stick with something that's a little bit more safe. <laughs> um, well, hey, one last thing. I wanted to really quickly talk about or touch on the uh, competition that we've got going on. Oh yeah. Within Streamline and uh, kind of what's been going on there. If people aren't aware of it, um, if you're not aware of it, jump on it. But if you want to break that down or say a few words, that would be awesome. Yeah. So we got the quarantine games. We kind of, I was putting it together last week and unfortunately got it out to y'all, the coaches, um, a little later than I wanted to. Um, but I think we kind of worked through some of the glitches of it all. Unfortunately, Tribe is a little glitchy, but I do have the um, standings for those, and I'm going to post them when we post the next week. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think it's just another great way to stay engaged and keep that camaraderie and competitiveness going. Um, and, but people love the – from what this looks like people love the barbell workout and the body weight workout again the body weight's great because you can do you don't need anything you do it anywhere and i'm not going right. to create anything so complicated somebody's gonna be like oh god but <laughs> i want people i want everybody to do it so i mean if it's you know air squats for five minutes max reps Ooh, that sounds terrible yeah that sounds horrible i, don't, I won't do that uh, <laughs> But yeah, we got those four divisions, uh, body weight, rower, kettlebell, dumbbell, kettlebell or dumbbell, um, and then barbell. And the all the coaches are helping with demo and program. Um, so it's been a huge help to me and not having to come up with five different programs and then five different workouts every week for the competition. Um, so thank you and the rest of them. Um, but we got you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of developing it a little bit more. And then um we got some other stuff we're working on too. I'm gonna be um with Doc Megan for um mobility and recovery zoom meet oh, nice. up. I don't know how that works. I love I'd it. Have to get with you a little bit more on how the Zoom thing works. Um oh it's straightforward. You figure it out, no problem. Nikki just told me she uses it every day, so she'll show me. There you go. You got a pro in the house. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do some stuff with Doc Megan. Um, and then I want to try to probably get some community workouts even going together too. Oh, nice. That'd be so, awesome. Trying to, trying to keep it fun, interesting, trying to develop more with what we got as far as our limited resources right now. But, you know, opportunity for more resources or different resources, how we'll get through it and, I will keep going. There we go. I love it. I'm glad you uh, said that. I got to go and uh, program a workout real quick. Actually, I've already programmed <laughs> it, but I just I just need to film it. Um, send that over your way for a nasty little row workout this afternoon. Um, have you seen people submitting videos much of, I haven't really seen it on the Facebook page too much, 
um, of their workouts, specifically for the quarantine games? Yeah, so for those, I got a few of them in my um, uh, private message or whatever that were sent directly to me, um, or direct messaging, whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, and then Chad, I'm going to call him out over this. Chad sent hey. me this uh, hyperspeed one to where you can't even see his squat. He's just going so fast. And I'm like, <laughs> can't judge that, man. I can't even count that. You can't count that? <laughs> so... I'm going to hit him up and see if he's got another one for me to review and look at. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, if y'all submit videos, submit real time videos. I think Wadwell is a good one or Wad Tracker. Um, Drew sent me one that was really good. Yeah, there's another one. I can't remember the name of it that we used for the qualification for the. Um, competition that we did down in San Antonio, uh, duality. I think that one was Wadwell where it has the little timer, like right down in the corner. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That one's Wadwell. That one's great. That one works. I mean, I think it's simple and free and, um, Wadwell, check it out people. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling in, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad you and Nikki are doing well. Uh, glad you guys are in good spirits. Hopefully everybody else sees this. They'll be uh, motivated to go and knock out those workouts and submit their stuff to the quarantine games. Yeah. Um, How's Christina doing, by the way? I felt bad for not asking that earlier. Oh, she's doing great. Yeah, she's doing great. She's, she's been she's isolated. Work- yeah. she. I mean, she works from home uh, anyway, so not really much has changed for her. She's still working with her teams that are kind of all over the country, but uh not much has changed there. Um, work-wise, she's doing really well. Getting getting super pregnant. You can see that yeah. baby bump coming in for sure. She's so gonna, we're talking she's, about you're going to come back. Both of them are going to come back looking like different people. I know, right? By the time we all get back, he'll be like, wow, that happened overnight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, cool, man. Glad you guys are doing well. Thanks for checking in. Um, and you all have yeah, a good man, weekend. I love, these. I love your check-ins. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. We'll keep it going until this thing's over. Awesome. All right. Take care. You too, bud.